Well, we, we came out like gangbusters, and um, I was really proud of them the first match because we were actually behind, and we, we closed the gap at the end and made some really good plays in crunch time and won that, won that first game. The second game, we really looked like Bulldog Volleyball, and we uh, led for most of the match, and I think we won by five or six. So we're looking good going into the break and uh, up 2-0, but and we told the team everybody knew. knew. We, you know, we've been in this position several times before, and we felt like we have left uh, wins on the court this year. And, uh, and we came out that third game, and it just, it just wasn't happening. It, it was still close. A break here, a call there, we would have swept them. Uh, and we did get uh, probably the... Everybody gets a short end of the stick sometimes. I think it uh, we got maybe a little bit more than uh, than Auburn, but it uh, that stuff usually evens out. But we lost that one, and we we kind of we kind of went into a tailspin and just never got our moxie back. And so we lost in five. That's the second or third time that's happened this year after being up 2-0. Um, you know, on one hand, you got to applaud your team for uh, for battling like that and for uh, being in, being in games that historically they haven't been in. On the other hand, the bottom line is we should have won the game. And uh, so, uh, but I was really, really proud of the team because uh, the next morning at 8.30 in the morning, we came out here and practiced like champions. We had a great practice yesterday morning. We came out here the first game against uh, Texas A&M, who's uh, number one in the league right now. And we played well. We could have taken that first game again, uh, but uh, the wheels are falling off a little bit too frequently for us. and. Uh, we're not stretching or connecting really good plays together as often as we should. Um, so uh, we don't think it's uh, our system to play. We don't think it's our technique. We don't think it's those things. We think we got to find something else. So we got to find another reason for why we are uh, kind of, uh, you know, flitting those games away. You know, uh, we committed to the whole season. Uh, when you look at the season as a whole, it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know what our record is, 14 and 14? 14 and 14. When you look at it historically over the last several years or 10 years, whatever, it looks pretty good. Uh, uh, I think a lot of people, I hear from all the time, coach, you're doing a great job, all that fun stuff, and we're 14 and 14. I feel like we should be more like 19 and 9, to be quite honest with you. I really do. We've left some wins out there, uh, but we've committed, we've committed for the entire season. We've committed for, for now. We've connected with players and the coaches in the past. Uh, we're, we're, we're moving forward. We have a job to do, and that job is to get better every time we come into the gym, whether we're 14-4, uh, 19-9, uh, and 4, 19 and 9, or 0-28. Oh the bottom line is we owe it to Mississippi State to get better, and our players owe it to Mississippi State to get better. And we practice tomorrow, and I expect them to get better, and that's uh, what I just told you is what I'm going to tell them.